Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar, back again with a different type of video. In this video, I'm basically walk you through my whole creative process of creating YouTube videos. So if you, any of you guys are out there and you use a cell phone or you use an action camera, whatever camera do you use, you can use these steps here to help you make a YouTube page. So first thing I do before I even hit record uh, is I start planning out what I want to do. And recently, I'm really trying to start re-engineering or reverse engineering. I'm really starting to come up with the the title first and then the thumbnail and build the video off of that. So this is probably my third video working on that process there. So quickly, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what the tools and, and how I basically create this. And hopefully the last video in this series will be the upload. And to start this off, uh, I'm going to jump and show you guys what I'm doing here on my screen. I have this program, which I just started using uh, about three videos ago. I think the first video I used it on was... Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> it was like three videos ago. Like I upload a video, a video, and I forget about it. I don't like to dwell on videos. Like, oh, how many views is it getting? Oh, is it going to do good? No. Once it's uploaded, it's done. It's out of my memory, and I, I'm, I move on to the next project. That also just keeps you from, from getting, uh, you know, like sad. Like, okay, yeah, I had a video. One video did like. 2,000 views. Yeah, that was great. And the next video, 100 views. What's wrong? What did they do wrong? I'm not dwelling over that. Views, I can care less really about that right now. If one person watches my video, mission completed. Hey. <laughs> so the first step I like to do is I jump in this program called Milanote. Milano is a free program. Nobody's, they're not, it's not a sponsor or anything. I was actually watching another YouTuber and he was talking about his process and how he used Milano. Let me move this microphone over this way. It should be closer to you. You want your microphone about that far from your mouth. Quick little tip. And right now mine was like literally two, two times the distance. So uh, in Milano, it basically allows you to organize all your thoughts, text, image wise, link wise, video wise, anything, and it's free. So what I did here was I, I, I signed on to the free version. I'll have a link down here below. Let me quickly show you. Uh, here's This is going to be a link. It'll be down in the description. Now, uh, also, I'm going to say with this link, I will get a 20 additional free cards that I can use inside of this app. So it's the same for you. You sign up for the free one. You got a hundred, you get a hundred uh, cards to use in the beginning and I'll show you. And I, I haven't even reached a hundred yet, but if you need more than that, send the link out, have a, have a buddy sign on with you or have somebody in your family sign on and you'll get 20 more uh, cards if you need it. So I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to get started. This thing is great for organization. Check it out. This is what it starts you off with. It's just a blank canvas. I've added this little card in here that you can see here and I, I've named it YouTube right it's basically a board if I double click on it it allows me to go inside and I've already set my template up this is my whole little template as far as my YouTube creation goes so what I got over here are video ideas now to make these little cards if I double click here I can just make a text you know text blah 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 I can make a text card as long as I need it, right? And then there it is. I can move it around. This canvas is infinite. It's just a big canvas. And um, you can do all kinds of other options here on the side. Make it bold, make it color, whatever. Uh, I can add bullet points and I can add all this stuff. You can watch a tutorial about how to do this if you're really interested in it. But I'm just going to show you how I use it. So I've got this thing here called Video Ideas. You see, I made it into categories. I got vlogs, reviews, and tutorials. And I actually got a review coming up here. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it, uh, but I'll, I'll decide. And I might throw that in there. And then I got tutorials here. How to take pitch uh, pics with the uh, Super 16 app, which is probably going to be next. Anamorphic walk with the Moondog lens. But if you see here, I've already got upcoming videos. Like look here down, and then I got next upload. And then here I have published video topics. These were videos I already did. The vlog kit review, I already did that. The Canon EOS one that I did, that was kind of an impulse video. I didn't have it scheduled. We were going to the aquarium and my, my the wife's like, hey, we're going to the aquarium. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna film. <laughs> so that, that was kind of an impulse. It wasn't scheduled or anything like that. But basically the next video I have in line here is the Zunion uh, Smooth 4 in 2021, right? Yeah, like, is it worth it? Is it worth the to buy a can or a can? Is it worth to buy a Zunion Smooth 4? in 2021 and um, I'm going to go ahead and give you my answer now and I think yes it still is because of the fact that it integrates so well with Filmic Pro and in Filmic Pro if you're using Android or Mac you're, you're in the game of course it does not integrate with NC Pro many people wonder that no it doesn't only with Filmic Pro so quickly now what I did was let me back up I had that 
right here and I had another board and inside that board, I can nest a bunch of elements. So I, this is my template that I use for YouTube videos whenever I plan them. So I basically took it from my, from the notes that I had and made it visual. So first thing here, my keyword phrase, what's going to be my keyword for this video? My keyword for this video is Zunian Smooth 4. I've looked this keyword up to see, is it still trending? And um, I use vidIQ. Uh, let's see if I can pop that up for you guys. I use uh, I used to use a free version of vidIQ. Now I use the paid version, which is like 10 bucks a month uh, vidIQ. But you can still use a free version. I mean, I used the free version for almost like two years before I decided to, to actually uh, purchase the, the, the other version. So what I do in here is vidIQ allows me to search keywords. Let me jump on Patrick Lavar. And um, I can go in here. And all this jibber jab is in the way. Keywords here. And I can go Zoom. And I can search this keyword and find out, are people still searching for this keyword? Zoom is similar. Search results. Uh, 137,000. Competition is low. And overall score is 64 out of 100. So it's got a decent, good score here. Uh, look, we also look down here. 64, we got uh, Smooth 4 reviews. Uh, only about 2,000. Competition is low. Search score is 50. The number, the, the closer this number is to 100, the better uh, chances you you have to become ranked in that search. In that search, okay. So then we got uh, here's another good one. 62% DJI M or DJ DJI whatever Smooth 4 versus this uh, versus the Smooth 4. That's a good one. Uh, 62. So I'm looking pretty good. I got a 64, you know, so that let me know right there that this was something that's still being searched and is a good topic to talk about. So that's how I got my keyword vidIQ, right? I'm gonna go ahead and scroll that down. So I start off with my keyword. And then what I do is I already know I am an Amazon associate. So I have an Amazon associate link for that. I basically copied that, pasted it inside this document, which was super easy. All you do is just copy, a, copy out a link. For example, if I wanted to, it's so easy. Let me show you here. I'll jump into this little shameless plug, www patricklevar.com, which just got activated. I finally hooked it up all by myself. Woo, that was a mission. It was like literally about four hours of frustration and just like, I can't get this to work. And then it finally worked. But anyways, we got www.patricklevar.com. I got this all here. I got some new merch here. I got the old shirts here. Uh, we got the old shirts here going mobile filmmaker, boom, boom, boom. And then I made a new one. I got a whole bunch of designs in, in coming in. It just you know, niche down for mobile filmmakers and filmmakers. And then I got this newest one here. Uh, I, I film stuff, <laughs> which is good. If you film stuff in general, it's a good shirt there. So um, I'll actually have a code down there below for you guys, five bucks off. So you can get this shirt for like 15 bucks. Link will be down below and the code will be down there. So let's say that like I wanted to save this page, right? So all I do is come up here, double click, double click. There we go. Copy this. And then I'll jump back into Milanote, double click, and then I'm just going to go control V, paste it, boom, and let it load up here. And it's just basically, boom. Now I've got this saved inside of here. I got this link. I can click on this link from inside of the app and it takes me straight to there. Super cool. So if you're building up a video and you got all these resources that you want to, you want to sub out to in this video or for, for you can put all this data inside of here and have it ready to go. You can add images, uh, you can upload video, you can upload video files. I wouldn't do that. I mean, then, then you're starting to get into the paid stuff. You know, you only have a, a limited amount of uh, cards and data space as far as the free, free version. But then if you want more, you can go into that. So you see here, we got columns. These columns, basically, whenever I come up with the text or something, I can take that and, and let me click it and drop it inside of here. And that's how I've made this whole column here. You can do checklists. So I've got my checklist, film, edit, upload. And if I need to add something in here, I can add that in. Uh, you got lines. I can take these lines here just to kind of like, you know, oh, I want to pay attention to this, to this, or something like that. You can do that if you want. I mean, it's a very good tool. And one other thing that I like about this, it's actually got some presets in here. Maybe you don't want to use this for, you know, YouTube. So maybe you have a, a, a certain, you really want to use this for something. Uh, what you could do, where was it? If you right click, 
was it right click? I can't remember how I got into boards. Let me drag in the board here, double click on this board. Okay, yeah, if I drag in a board, double click on it. Here's all these templates. We got pre-production planning, character profile, beat sheet, storyboard, call sheets, click on more templates. Then you got different categories. Okay, film and TV. You go in here, you got pre-production plans, mood boards, storyboards. Uh, let's go back to uh, game design. Check it out. Character profile, level design. And inside of these, if let's go to something that's generic here. We, what do we got? Uh, marketing, mood boards. Sorry, spitting everywhere. Motion design, photography, product management, software development, students, uh, startups. Let's go to this. Let's go to students really fast. Check this out. Class notes, project plans, brainstorming. And then if I just click on one of those, right? It'll show you a preview. Check it out. This is a, a brainstorm template. Like you can take this template, save it. If I want to keep all the content inside, I can do that. And then just double click in there and start adding my stuff inside of it. This thing is fantastic and it's free. Like I've been, I've loved it. So I've made my own template. I've saved my own template in here. We go to, where is it? But video outline. So here's my template, my video outline template. Oh, I didn't save it and use this template. So this is the template that I basically built for myself for every YouTube video for the last four YouTube videos that I'm in. And I'm gonna get into, actually I used to use this template a very long time ago, almost a, a year ago. And I kind of lost track with my videos. And, and I think, you know, I kind of lost where I was going with this, but hey, it's all learning and process. So here's my basic, I find my keyword. What's my keyword going to be for this video? The searchable keyword. Here's your task list. You're going to add your tools. Here's my outline. So my outline is the, the, the format that I want to use when I'm building my YouTube. Teaser. 15 seconds before the bumper, hook your audience, state the promise of your video. Hey, this is Patrick LeVar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Super 16 app to get a filmic look. That's a hook. Then you roll your intro. If you do an intro, keep it really, really short. I'm really trying to get away from an intro and just go straight into the video. You got four seconds to hook your, your audience. Then you got your intro. Briefly introduce yourself. Why should you be advising on this topic? Hey, my name is Patrick LeVar. I'm a mobile filmmaker and photographer. I've been doing this for over five years. I have a YouTube page with 100,000 plus subscribers and over 5.5 million views. And if you like that or you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Intro, right? Then the body, the body of the video. How can you most clearly deliver on the promise of your video? Okay, so the process. Well, how can I promise you? Well, this is the app, the Super 16 app. Let me show you what you can do with this app and how you can get the film look. Walk them through the process, show them examples, do the screen, do the screencast and show you how I was able to set up the, the, the app to get the look that I wanted. Outro, without indicating that you're ending your video lead into the next video that you want people to watch. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, sometimes I forget, but now with this outline, I'm trying to be more regimented about it. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching this video about how to get the film look, you might enjoy this video, how to take pictures with the Super 16 app. That leads into the next video. That also takes, that also helps boost your, your visibility as far as that video because YouTube is keeping track of what people are watching, how they're watching, how long they're watching. Oh, they jumped to this next video and they're watching more of Patrick LeVar's content. Hey, I should share this to other people who don't know Patrick LeVar. That's how you keep the, the algorithm happy. Which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because I really don't care about the algorithm anymore. I just post videos to have fun. It's my hobby. I don't care, like I said, if I get a thousand views, I get a million views. If I get one person watching one of my videos, mission completed. Then after you try to do your outro without letting them know that the video is truly ending, call to action. Now this is something I rarely do, but I'm trying to get back to doing it because I used to do it all the time and it really helps the engagement on your video. Call to action, what do you want people to do next? If you really like this video, consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button, go to this link below, check out this email, check out this website, blah, blah, blah. Do something for me on a, that you're asking them, a call to action, which helps engagement. So this is my outline that I'm using now to, to, to get back to building a solid YouTube video. Now, let me back up here. Go ahead and delete that board. You see how it says seven cards underneath it? It says seven cards. That means I'm using seven cards of my 100. And you can take a look anytime. I'm trying to figure out where he, 
And I'm trying to remember where, oh, there it is, here it is. I've used 26 cards out of 100. And like, you know, guys, I built a template here. And let me back up here again, back to home. Here's my, there it is. Like, I haven't really had a point where I've gotten like, oh, I need more cards. Uh, I mean, my projects are not as big as intensive, right? So I double click in here again, back here, here it is. So what I did was I took my video outline made that its own little template. So every time I make a video that I'm ready to do, I'll basically come in here, oh, let me back up. I'll basically take this, copy it, paste it, right? And like, let's say we got a new video here. I'm gonna do a review on uh, MC, MC, let's go MC Pro or something, right? Boom, I'll take that. And then if I right click here, I can change the color. You know, and for me, I'll go orange because it's going to be a review. And then if you want, you can even change the icon. How did I change the icon? I can't remember. Oh, if you click on it, go over here to the right or to the left, and then you can change the icon. So I can go like, oh, MC, right? Boom. And then I will drag. Now, inside of here again, uh, there's nothing. Oh, it didn't save my inside. Oh, that's okay. Well, inside... Hang on, I thought I had this set up where, yeah, I should have kept all this stuff inside. Well, anyways, so I would just go in here, copy my template back out, double click inside here, paste in my template. There it is, it's pasted inside. And then like, I know that I wanna make this video is coming up soon. I'll take MC Pro, drop it in my, my list. So here's my review that this is coming up. I got yeah, Millinote vlog. I wanted to do a vlog and talk about this app a little bit because it's just, it's a great resource. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, but hey, I ended up doing this anyway. So quite, I, quite a, I could take this video and technically drop it over. Oops, oh, now see it. Let me hold there, that drops out. Okay, I could just drop it in here. Now this video is in action, it's an upcoming video, right? Then it's out of there and it's moving on to the next step. So uh, going into the smooth four, if we go in here inside detail now, now what I did here in my outline, I start actually putting in the script. This is something that I've learned from uh, what's a, uh, Marcus, the, the famous YouTuber who does all the tech videos and all that. Well, he's got a, a, a Skillshare class that I watch and he talks about his whole process of how he makes his videos and scripting and everything. So I took some notes from his class. So basically what I did was here, here's my teaser, right? What we talked about the 15 second hook. It, I actually start to script it out a little bit. Uh, is the Smooth 4 still worth buying in 2021? Stay tuned. That will be my hook, right? And then what I say here, oh, let's find out coming up, right? And at the bottom here, you see I've got this highlighted section here, B-roll of the S4 with the slider, smooth four with the slider, maybe some CG from Blender, uh, some text. I'm putting little notes, visual notes like, hey, I want to show some B-roll here. Maybe I want to have it on a slider and just sliding across showing the uh the smooth four, the gimbal, and then maybe some some computer graphic elements or some CG text, you know, smooth four. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting that in here to let myself know once I start going to record this stuff, I basically have a shot list now already been. Intro, and I have a little half halfway script or, you know, intro, briefly describe yourself. Yo, what up? My name is Patrick LeVar. If you're new to this channel, I make content using a cell phone, small mirrorless camera. So if you're into improving your videos, then hit the subscribe button. I got a script. Now, people were asking me, how do you like record all that stuff? Well, I just hit record and I'll just keep saying that until I get it right. Boom, I got my intro. There's my intro. Then I go on to the body here and now I start to jot down notes and things that I want to talk about in the video, things I want to show, which I'll highlight them in green. And that's super easy. If like, you click on the text here and like say you highlight some text, you can go, uh, what is that? That just, I don't know what that is. There's still a lot of stuff I'm learning about this app here. But I know that if you wanted to highlight some text, you go over to, oh, text style. And then here it is, all the options for highlighting text and stuff like that. So again, I started to break it down. So today we're looking at the Zunia Smart and found out, is it still worth buying? At the moment, there's plenty of gimbals on the market, various prices. Show other gimbals, screenshot from Amazon, show a bunch of you know other gimbals and stuff like that. On and on. So I'll keep working this process until I get through all of it. Oh, first of all, I want to talk about the gimbals uh, first out of of all my gimbals, where does this gimbal rank? The Patrick LeVar smartphone only gimbal list. The Movi is my top gimbal, Smooth Force, and blah, blah, blah. Go through that. Again, showing each gimbal. I got my notes there showing me my B-roll. I need to finish this up. 
and I haven't finished this. So I'm going to finish this up before I even start filming anything, guys. Once I've got this, I've got a clear, structured plan, a, a good, solid base for a YouTube video. And I know what I need to shoot. I know what I need to do. I know it keeps it just makes everything, the whole process so much uh, smoother. So super freaking hot today. Uh, so that is something I wanted to share in my first step in this first series of this video. Uh, I'm going to do it till the video is uploaded, till the Smooth 4 video is uploaded. I'm going to walk you through my whole process. This is the first step, building uh, my, my, my YouTube template, getting all the information filled in. So also, if there's certain colors that I want to use, I can drop those color uh, hex numbers inside of here and it would save it. Uh, for example, this is something I just found out the other day. I didn't know you can do this. So uh, where is it? I got this special website that I also go to called Hex Hex Colors. And you hear like, let's say if I take this one, right? We take this purple and let's just say I copy the hex code, which I just saw, where was it? Where did it go? Oh, here's the hex code, right? Boom. Say I like I want to use this color for something or something in the video. Okay, so then we scroll back down. I come in here, copy, paste. Oh, undo, undo, Control Z, undo. Actually, double click, and then paste, enter. Boom! It saves the hex color right there. So I got like maybe I want to do a color theme throughout this video. There it is. It's got it's ready to go and, and loaded. This is fantastic. I just love the little stuff like this, which just makes this app really, really cool, guys. So that was 22 minutes of jibber jabbing, but I want to I, I, I want to try to give more value than just mobile filmmaking. I want to really help you. If you're if you're a YouTuber, you or if you want to be a YouTuber or content creator, I'm going to show you how I, I how I did it. How I did it using a cell phone. Right in the beginning, when I started, I had a cell phone. That's all I had. And then I bought my Canon EOS M later, which is like, guys, I have a, I have a YouTube page with 140,000 subscribers, and I have a camera that cost me $200, and I have a cell phone. There's people I know on YouTube right now who've spun thousands of dollars on equipment to get their YouTube page up, the fancy backgrounds and all that. You don't need all that if you have a solid foundation and base on your video, and you're making good solid video that's helping people. A vlog is not really helping anybody. That's entertainment value. Most people don't care about other people's lives unless you're super famous and you do super crazy stuff, right? If you're passionate about something, you like making plants, you like growing plants, well, hey, share something. Share something that you learned about how to grow this cactus really well. Share that. There's somebody who wants to know about that. There's no somebody that doesn't really want to care about your life when you're just a normal person because we don't have anything crazy or exciting about our lives. So many of my people who are like, yeah, I want to start vlogging. I'm like, nobody cares. How many people do you know are searching uh, vlogs today? Uh, John Doe's vlog, number two. Definitely not me. I am searching, how can I film with less grain in my footage? How can I set up a better live stream? I shouldn't tap it. How can I screencast my, my video on my phone or something like that? Okay, right? So... All right, enough of my jibber jabber. I've been jibber jabbering. That's going to be another t shirt that I'm working on right now. Enough of the jibber jabber. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I'm going to share my process also on how I'm making these shirts and how I'm able, how you're able to design a shirt using free software. My that, that t shirt I designed, both of the, those designs, um, I designed them with using a free software called Inkscape. Uh, da, 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 where was it? Inkscape. Inkscape is like a vector, and basically, what I did to help to prevent copyright infringement, you'll take text and you'll customize it to your own design. And that's how you can build your own logo or whatnot or something on your t-shirt and don't have to worry about, hey, that's my font. You're, you can't use my font on your t-shirt. No, this is a custom design. So, hey, we'll get into that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that, that process. So, all right, that's the end of it for this first video. My next video will possibly be since I'm reverse engineering this, I got the theme, I got the base of the video. Next is going to be the thumbnail. I'm going to build a thumbnail before I start actually editing the video because this is something I'm trying. I normally always make the video first, do everything, do everything, do everything, and then do the thumbnail. And, and like thumbnails are becoming extremely important on YouTube because you really got to grab people's attention. And thumbnail is kind of like the headlines, you know, before people actually click on your video, the first thing they see is the thumbnail right okay so after i've got this 
all my info plugged in here. Uh, I'll show you, I'll, I'll walk you through my process of how I'm going to come up with a thumbnail. So enough of the jibber jabber, Patrick LeVar, links down in the description. I got the patricklevar.coms up, the website's up, everything is uh, slowly moving into motion, is giving you guys more resources. And uh, let me know down in the comments uh, anything else you guys want to see. And stay tuned for the next series or uh, thumbnail in this series of uploading this video, The Smooth Form. Peace. Catch you in the next one. See you.